Okay, y'all, let's talk about how to properly hold our instruments. Let's start with the needle driver on the right-hand side. The thumb goes through the first hole, the fourth finger goes through the second hole, index finger for support, third over, fifth under. This is what it looks like on the other side. This is gonna give us maximum support to flick our wrists as needed for suturing. Another cool technique is keeping that needle driver around your fourth, flip it around so you can pick up the scissors in case there's nobody assisting you in surgery. It saves time instead of putting one down, picking one up. Let's see that again. So let's loop it around our fourth finger, pick up the scissors, cut our stitch, put it down, and then back to suturing. There you go, folks. That's how you do it. Let's talk about where you should hold your needle with your needle driver. You do not want to hold it there. That's called the swage. That's where the suture and the needle connect. And you don't want to hold it right in the middle because that's not going to give you enough clearance to really flick your wrist and put in your suture. You want to do it in the middle of those two. Right at the apex between the midpoint between the swage and the middle of the needle, right where I'm pointing, that's your sweet spot. That's going to give you motion room for motion and it's gonna not bend your needle like if you hold it at the swage right where the suture connects you're gonna bend your needle there nope yep nope yep nope yep How to tie your suture knot, slow-mo edition. You grab your suture, make two loops in the same direction over your needle driver. Grab that suture tail, cross your hands, lay it down flat. That's gonna bring the skin edges together. Now in the opposite direction, you make a single loop, grab that suture tail, lay it down flat. And then in the same direction that you started, single loop, grab that tail, lay it down flat. That's it. Now you cut and you're done. Don't know what you're saying. You're flying higher than a Hey y'all, let's go over how to hand tie today. So the way I like to hold my suture is like I'm holding the reins of a horse. So when you ride a horse, you just want to hold on to the suture like the reins there. You want the thumbs on top. And then you want to take your dominant hand, and that for me is my right hand, and you want to create a figure four with your index finger, just like that. Create a figure four, and then with your non-dominant hand, so for me, that's my left hand. I use my left thumb, and I pinch down that area where the suture intersects. Then you take your index finger, and then you hook the bottom part of the circle. You go over the line, and then you take that line and you flick it into the circle just like that then you tie it down so let's try that again you use your dominant hand to create that figure four non-dominant thumb pinches the intersection you your index finger hooks and then over under and then 